7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. April is Parkinson's Awareness Month, and a new drug has just been approved this week to help treat the condition. So here to tell us more about it is Dr. Dean Sutherland. Dr. Sutherland, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you. All right, so this is, this is a big deal. Tell us a little bit about it. This drug is really interesting. You know, normally, Parkinson's patients have to take drugs three, four, five, even six or seven times a day. Mm -hmm. That is so hard. Mm -hmm. So this patch is a once-a-day patch. It goes onto the skin, so you only have to change it every 24 hours. Oh, that's nice. And mm -hmm. so you can, some people can dispense with the regular pills. Wow. So instead of having to watch your watch or have mm -hmm. one of these special timers on your phone, mm -hmm. you know, they can just put on the patch and go about their day. And that's made a big difference. We actually had it out a couple of years ago, and it got mm -hmm. taken off the market briefly. Oh, okay. Um, not because of any side effects, but because there was a manufacturing problem. So oh. the FDA pulled it, and okay. so we were all very upset. I uh, bet, yes. <laughs> and people were getting it from Canada and Europe. It's been approved in Europe again for several years. Mm -hmm. uh, it just got released in the United States again, mm -hmm. uh, not only for Parkinson's, but also for restless leg syndrome. Really? Okay. Yeah, which is something that plagues a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So some people with restless leg syndrome get it during a daytime, just not just at nighttime. Not just at night. I did yeah. not know that. Okay. All right. All right. So let's talk about maybe some of the possible side effects. So these drugs uh, they do, they can cause problems what we call impulse control disorders. Mm -hmm. uh, and that means things like gambling. Uh, I have one gentleman who accidentally lost $100,000 gambling and oh his wife. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> one of these drugs. You don't think about, you. whenever you think about side effects, you think about physical things, but you wouldn't, you know, this is something really different. Yeah, these drugs are very motivating. Mm -hmm. It acts on dopamine, which is the mm -hmm. same uh, neurotransmitter that gets activated with cocaine inside oh, your yes. brain. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's not only gambling. Some people have increased libido and do things they wouldn't normally mm -hmm. do. Some people will buy things. I have one patient who bought 100 trees for his backyard, and his backyard's about 50 by 50. <laughs> oh, no. So this is something. What would you do to c control that side effect? Well, first off, you have to ask for it every single time. If you have, if, even if you're a primary doctor and you have your patients who are on it for restless legs now, mm -hmm. it's, since it's available for that, every time they come in, you have to ask them about those three things, about okay. libido and gambling behavior and buying things. Mm -hmm. And is there anything to do to, to control those side effects of the drug? There may be some small things that can mm -hmm. be done uh, in terms of adding on other drugs, mm -hmm. but it's usually not as effective. You usually have to take people off the drug instead. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, but when it does work and if they don't have those side effects, it's, it's wonderful because people's lives are changed. They're not, you know, worrying about whether or not they can go out their friends mm -hmm. because they're going to be embarrassed taking pills in front of their friends, mm -hmm. you know, planning that out. Mm -hmm. And is the patch is just as effective? Even though you're not orally ingesting the medication? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, there have been many studies that have been done. It comes in a bunch of different strengths. Mm -hmm. uh, you can even shower with it and, you know, uh, exercise. Mm -hmm. It stays on. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's a big bonus. All right. Well, a great development here. And thanks for being with us this morning, Dr. Sutherland. And we now head over to Chuck.